Hey YouTube, it's Skyostar again. This is part two to the unboxing of the Hapaz personal video recorder. Um, obviously everything's already been unboxed, as we did in the last video. So to go over the contents again really quick, we have the direction guide, which answered a mystery that we had in the last video. We were unsure of what this cable is and what it's used for. So, the direction guide says that it is an IR blaster cable, which basically helps you record things and change the channel with a satellite programming or um, cable programming, basically to help you record TV. We're using this for gaming, so if you're not, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> but this is how we're going to set it up to a PS3 to record gameplay. So, if you have this cable, keep it somewhere safe, but you don't need it. We have the HD PVR software. I'm going to try to do everything without loading this on my computer and see if, because I don't believe that the device needs the software to record, I think it's just a video editing program that you can use on your computer. So, if that's not the case and I do end up installing it, then I'll make sure that I put that in the summary or the description of the video, um, but letting you know right now, I'm going to try and do everything without this. We have the device itself, the Hapage PVR recording box, extremely light, very sexy, uh, very easy to understand, very basic. We have one six foot USB cable and we'll see how this connects the device to your computer. One remote control. Two universal AAA batteries for the remote control. One power cord. And the high definition component cables that connect your recording device to your TV. The only thing I have on the table here that didn't come in the box, I had to buy separately, was the component cables that you connect the PlayStation to the recording device with. I had to buy these because I've been playing with an HDMI cable and the Hapage HD PVR is not compatible with HDMI. Currently no capture cards are. So while I was at Best Buy buying the recording device, I also put down an extra $25 for these. Um, they did have another set of cables that were $5 more by a different brand. But these are these were $24.99 at Best Buy and they're made by Sony for the PS3. So I went ahead and got the cheaper cables by the name brand. Now, what you want to do first is you want to oh and this is actually a very long cable, um, much longer than I thought it was going to be, which makes this entire process much easier. Ten feet of cable. So, you want to take this end here, and you want to plug that into the back of your PlayStation. It's very close to your where you plug in your power cable. Afterwards, you want to take the other end of the cables here and you want to plug them into the back of your recording device. Now the top row here says out, the bottom row says in. You want to make sure that the cables running from your PlayStation go into the bottom row where it says in. So we have the two audio cables. Should we put the right colors in this time? Yes, I uh, apparently made a colorblind joke <laughs> and then I had difficulties with the cables so now I am paying more attention green to green you would think this is kindergarten stuff but it, this is serious business guys blue, put it in the blue <laughs> blue to blue and dark reddish orangish to dark reddish oranges so yes <laughs> um all right so those go in and once again these were the cables that I had to buy myself if you weren't using HDMI 
but you are using an HD TV, then you probably already have these cables. So you just take the cables out of your TV and plug them into the device. Then we take the component cables that came in the box with the recording device and you can use either end, it doesn't matter. And you want to plug these into the top row. So again, orangish, rish, rish to orangish and white to white. Those are your audio. And then you want to plug green into green, blue into blue, and orange, red, whatever fit you fat little cable and orange, red, whatever. So that's what it looks like. Once again, bottom row is from your PlayStation into the device. Top row, this comes out of the device and you plug the other end into your HDTV. Um, you'll find the ports lined up very similar to the way they were in the back of the device. You'll find them lined up in the back of the TV. They should go in order. You have the two white cables for audio and green, blue, and red for the video. After that, all you have to do is, and the direction manual did suggest that you do this last. So, you just take the cord for the power cable and you plug it into the DC 5 volt port all the way on the right take the other end and plug it into an outlet and you are set up and ready to go after this all you have to do is turn on your PlayStation make sure that your video output settings are set to 1080i you go to uh, settings go down to <coughs> go to settings and then go down to display settings it's the first option on the top thank you and yes it's the first option on the top go in and reset your configurations to 1080i to get the best quality out of the device once you've done that the last thing to do is take the USB cord plug one end into the port right next to the power and the other end into your desktop or laptop and you're ready to go. Uh, this is Guy of the Star and XOXO Seraph. Thank you for watching, and we'll have some Assassin's Creed Brotherhood videos up very soon.